Buhari warns foreign governments not to meddle in Nigerians' forthcoming general elections. Hello guys, welcome back to the news. If you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you all for always coming out here. May God bless you all. Let's quickly hit the news to get the full details. President Mohamed Buhari has warned foreign governments and their representatives not to meddle in the country's forthcoming elections. The warning is coming barely 45 days to the February 25th presidential election. Buhari, who made the appeal on Thursday while receiving letters of credence from ambassadors of Switzerland, Sudan, the Republic of Ireland, the Kingdom of Thailand, the Republic of Senegal, and the Republic of South Sudan at the presidential villa. Abuja said, the country is working with the economic community of West African states, ECOWAS, to end coups. A statement by the special advisor to President Mohamed Buhari on media and publicity, Femi Adesina, quoted the president to have said that Nigeria was working closely with ECOWAS to deal with insecurity in the West African region, as well as implementing strategies to contain the speed of unconstitutional changes in the government. Hmm. President Buhari invited friendly countries to support efforts to address the problems of insecurity, fight against corruption, diversification of the economy, and our efforts in promoting good governance. He added, I am therefore confident that your appointments are obviously deliberate to build on the success of your immediate predecessors in order to advance our relations to significant and inevitable heights. As you settle down to your uh, diplomatic responsibilities, I am hopeful that you will appreciate the political, social, economic, and cultural diversities, which are the hallmarks of the Nigerian nation. Hey, my country people. So our president now, you know, don't they get mind now to the one foreign government, foreign countries, foreign nations, not to meddle in uh, our country's forthcoming general elections. Now, wow, Buhari, you they check this thing where they talk so, you they check them. Well, you are the president and uh, you have uh, every right. At least you get the power to say anything you want to say. But may you check what you they do so. This one where you don't come out publicly to warn foreign governments not to meddle in Nigerians' forthcoming general elections. I don't really know why you have come out to make this statement. Meanwhile, after all, after you've made this statement, you also appealed to those nations to support our country in addressing the, the problems of insecurity and the fight against corruption we have been battling with in our country. Meanwhile, you don't shun them. Tell them, say, may they shush. May they not choke mouth for our matter. May they not meddle for our matter. But you still, they tell them, say, I beg. Make una help us fight the problems of uh, insecurity. Make una help us fight the problems of corruption for our country. Hmm. He went on. This will enable us to collectively strive to restructure all our country's e economies in the post-pandemic global recovery uh, processes. Hmm. While acknowledge the support of the respective countries in his administration's campaign to deal with the challenges of insecurity, such as kidnapping, banditry, terrorism, drugs, and human trafficking, as well as the threats posed by environmental challenges resulting from climate change in the Lake Chad region. Buhari said that the, um, the factors accounting for those challenges go beyond the abilities of a single country to effectively contain them. Hmm. 
So he said the issues of security had become a global matter, which according to him had presented an opportunity for all nations of the world to work together at both the bilateral and multilateral uh, platforms and build consensus in order to overcome them. Hmm. This is coming from our president. So President Mohammed Buhari has come out to shun other nations, other governments against meddling in the affairs of uh, the Nigerians' forthcoming general elections, which has kept so many Nigerians talking. Here are the reactions of most Nigerians. One is saying, okay, they should ensure politicians who try to frustrate beavers are denied medical care in their nation. Hmm. Please, Buhari, stop using their hospitals. Okay, but they will still run to them for loans. Mad people everywhere. So you get mad to say, you know what, may they help you conduct your election. But if you take their free money in form of aid, hmm. okay, why would they interfere? They must meddle because you have given them rights by going to them for medical checkup and making your own doctors irrelevant. Hmm. As if he can do anything if they meddle. Worst president so far. If they stop you from meddling in their hospitals and loans, can you withstand it? Uh, but you meddle in their hospitals, so that is okay. Oh yeah, now, <laughs> Oga, stop using their loans, my country people. These are reactions from Nigerians. They are not really taking this issue lightly. Nigerians are speaking, saying that, okay, Buhari, since you don't just say, make them no meddle for our affairs. Okay, now, make you kukuma stop till they go there for medical treatment. It's best you stay on your own. And whenever they give you loans, don't collect. Mm. No, they collect their loans. As we say, you don't want them made a medal for our affairs. And then this same Buhari is also pleading and begging for aids from these nations to help us with the uh, issues we have been having, uh, the insecurity issues, the terrorism issues, to help us, to assist us. Meanwhile, he has, you know, in that same, with that same mouth, he has shunned them, saying that they should not in any way meddle in our uh, forthcoming uh, general elections. Well, I really hope that President Mohammed Buhari knows what, you know, he's doing. He should not take a decision that is going to affect the country negatively. Uh -huh. I'm dropping here, guys. Kindly. Of...